Yo, welcome back to the Nerds and Glasses podcast. I am your host, Knowledge. We're the number one gaming podcast on YouTube. I'm joined here by... Javi, what's up, guys? Dude, a lot of news. Really excited about. Just kind of like, nothing was really even like shown to us, I guess you could say. But there's a lot of like little news stories that are just like, oh my god, I can't wait. And the colossal, colossal news, I think, is this Nintendo NX which we will refer to from now on as Next. Nintendo Next. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to say NX every time. <laughs> yeah. <and Sorry. laughs> There's too many syllables for me. I can't yeah. say that many Next. things. There, I'm done. So, nothing, like, almost no info, but... Nothing, we know. no info on the actual what it is, but there's so much just little things that we can, like, get from it. Okay, so we know that it's Nintendo's Next... Nah. You see, you see what they did there. You see, it was, the, it was us. They, you they see what I did it, there. So okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't know that. <laughs> Is their next console or Gaming hardware Gaming Yeah, good. You're good. You're good, bro. Gaming platform, very specifically worded because obviously we don't know if it's a. Uh, they don't want to re- like release if it's a console. Or yeah, if it's a handheld device handheld or if it's a. Whatever, yeah. you know, like Virtual Boy or yeah, some shit. Virtual Boy, Power <laughs> 2. Uh, yeah, who knows? But their next gaming platform has been announced, and they said that they're gonna unveil it next year. Right. I imagine E3 time. Well, maybe not E3, because they, yeah, haven't, been, yeah, they haven't been doing the whole E3 thing. They might even just do it just like a random, not random, but maybe their next big direct. Nintendo yeah, direct. but remember, even even at E3, they did... A, you, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, they did a direct at E3. They just weren't there at E3. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's, I mean, and wasn't a lot of the news kind of like... Not not a lot of the news, but a lot of the big stories were also just before then. Like mm. they, were, they, would have, they were releasing stuff periodically. Yeah, they were like, you know what? We, we don't want to... Conform to, this. to your yeah your definition. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the hell's wrong with them. They really needed to be at E3. Anyway, well, they were kind of in spirit. Yeah, in spirit, <laughs> but not. They should have been they there, should. just like trying to sell. They should be trying to sell Wii U's there, like yeah. just like they should have just been stopping people. Like, want a Wii U? I got the new Wii U right here. <laughs> um, but that really brings a question about the Wii U. Is the Wii U over? Do you think first? Let me ask you. What do you think it is? Do you think it's a home console? Do you think it's a gaming? You think it's a handheld? I really think it's a console. You think it's a home console? Why do you think that? I just um, the Wii U kind of came out in this like little gray area, where like it was next gen, but it wasn't next gen enough. Yeah. I guess I, I guess that's the word. And also their marketing towards it was like. It honestly seemed like they were selling the gamepad for yeah, the Wii. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, so I really think that they, I mean, maybe they like. I mean, it seems kind of bad, honestly, that it, that it would be a console, but I, I can't really imagine much else. Okay, so why wouldn't it be the new handheld? That's a, I mean. The 3DS is still going strong. They could go somewhere else with that. I mean, like they said, they'll they'll unveil it next yeah. year. It's not like it's gonna be out next right. year. Right. Yeah, totally true. Yeah. I mean, it could definitely be a handheld. I mean, maybe they want to do something more because uh, they did come out with the the new 3DS. Which... Do you think the new? Do you consider the new 3DS like a new console, or do you consider no, it like uh... a new, like just a super update? Like I want to say it's kind of like the like how the. Cause there was the, you know, there was the Game Boy the, Advance. Well, I'm talking about just like going, cause there's like okay. five iterations of the DS. Yeah. Right. So there was a DS, the big one. Yeah. Then they came up with the light. And after that, if I'm not mistaken, it was the DSi. Yeah. Which was kind of that was an upgrade. Yeah, that was a super upgrade. Yeah, that was an upgrade from the DS uh, light. Yeah. And then they moved on to the XL, which is still same. It was in the same, same just upgrades. And yeah. then and then they came out with the the Three, 3DS. No, the 3DS is a new. Yes. So handheld. I consider the 3DS kind of like an upgrade to the, the or the, the new 3DS an upgrade to the 3DS. Yeah, and so like the th- the new 3DS has been out a couple months. No, no but I mean the, oh, the I mean oh, the, 3DS, the 3DS in general, right? The 3DS has been out I don't know what 2011 was it 10? I didn't get one till like last 
two years ago. The, the when you got the, the upgraded or not upgraded but two DS. I got the, and I got the two DS. Did you yeah. ever find? Did you find your? 2DS I can't find my two DS. <laughs> He's so depressed without his two DS. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know I what don't, to do. I with can't life. grind out. Uh, at school, I can't grind out Super Smash Brothers. You know my training. Oh, so you have to, My regimen is done. You have to pay attention to your professor I now. I pay attention to my professor now. <laughs> but, I, I mean, just me looking at history, just as in terms of their cycle, their like console history. Um, now I'm gonna look this up real quick. All right, so the Game Boy Advance came out in 2001. Okay. The Nintendo DS came out three years later. Okay. That seems so soon. I felt like the Game Boy Advance was around forever. I guess, well, they were still selling in droves. Plus, it was backwards compatible for a long time. Yes, which uh, I love. Like, I always hate when they, like, like they always, like, they upgrade it and upgrade it and upgrade it. And they have to upgrade it. They, it gets to the point where they cut out yeah money reasons obviously yeah but they cut out the backwards compatibility. bit yeah that's that's the one you don't buy it's like when there's like oh you can't but then play. you have to buy it because because <laughs> like, they stop making like you have to make sure you 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 have your like older system like you have to buy one like while they're still cheap do, do you have to buy it Javi, or is that just uh, i have a i still have a game boy uh dude. the game boy advance sp because those yeah. things are like so portable. Yeah, dude, the SP was the best, the best, the fucking foldable yeah. screen and the light, everything. Dude. Yeah, and I had to. I also have a. I actually went out and bought. It's pink, but it was the only one. Actually, it's coral. I'm sorry. And I had bought it originally for my mom, so she could play like Tetris and uh, Bejeweled. Yeah. But I ended up keeping it for myself because I forgot that it was backwards compatible with the Game Boy Advance, and yeah. I lost my charger from my SP. So now I have the the, the DS Lite to play both. Old, old games and then the Game Boy Advance games. That's right. <laughs> Backwards compatibility. <laughs> so, timeline. 2001, Game Boy Advance. 2004, DS. 2011 is the, the 3DS, 3DS. Right? So, I guess just judging about how their past history, you could see a new, a new handheld, whereas the console seems too soon yeah that's true it's just now like, you brought up the point okay obviously the wii u was kind of a gray area but for me it wasn't a gray area as far as what generation it was to me it's an obvious competitor to the xbox one and the ps4 mm -hmm. the only problem is it's just like yeah, how you I'm, were saying it was the marketing it's like nobody knew that i like i myself who follows gaming like a lot reads articles and all this shit yeah i didn't even know at the beginning i don't think that many people were like Oh, new system. I was yeah. just like, oh. A new controller for the for the Wii. The Wii U controller. Yeah. You know, like, okay, I don't care. Like, I don't even play my Wii anymore. This has been collecting dust for <laughs> 10 years. So, I think the main problem was the marketing. Um, plus the name, because yeah, the name was stupid, the Wii U. Yeah, they should have, I mean... The, what was it? The Wii's original name was Revolution? Yeah. Or that's that, a, that was probably its code name. Yeah. They should have just named the Wii U the revolution or something yeah you know? or the Wii 2 you know or it's just something where you know or it's the Wii 1 yeah <laughs> <laughs> the fuck <laughs> just like yeah. the 360 yeah. went for some reason too yeah. Long, but yeah yeah so um, it just didn't make any sense you know or, or, or they just didn't do a good enough job of promoting it as a new console so it would be like I would be have to take the knife out of my back if they fucking release a new console this soon because I fucking invested in buying a goddamn Wii right. U. Because you know, yes. you know damn well as soon as the new console comes out within a couple of months, six gonna, months at least. Yeah, they're gonna stop making games for the Wii U, and I still haven't even got my Zelda or my fucking Mario or Metroid. They haven't made shit for the Wii U yeah. except for Smash Brothers. Yeah, and Mario so I guess Kart. in that in that sense, I mean. It would have to be the, the the way I think is like they're just gonna announce something. Maybe it's not even in like they're not even close to finishing or releasing it yet. Yeah. You know, they just they just wanted to I don't know, but that doesn't make sense either, I guess. Now that I think about it more. Yeah. So it has to be something, I mean Because they released the Wii U in two thousand twelve, late two thousand twelve. Right. So it's so been it's like only, a year. It's only and been a half like or whatever. There's only been like two years and a quarter. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, yeah, two like years. two years and a quarter. And traditionally, the game console eras are about five years. Lately, the last one was longer because how great, how great the 360 and the PS3 was because of online gaming. Online gaming extended the console so like literally like I could have kept playing 360 games. Like, there's what if no, it's just <laughs> that? What if it's not even like a console? It's just because it's a gaming platform. What is it? just an online infrastructure? 
because they have something okay like yeah that's good yeah that's actually that's i didn't think of that yeah because yeah. like i mean it, it works okay yeah like you know for smash brothers but even even i don't like the smash brothers online just because it's just like i don't know i i'm so used to like xbox and playstations or not, i mean it's not even their online but how the games do online for them yeah it's just so much different like this whole friend code thing this whole mm -hmm. like not being able to chat easily Which or you, i don't I know mean, like they're marketed towards kids more so it makes sense but there's fucking nine five-year-olds playing call of duty you know Dude, so they, they can, have to get over the fact that they they're trying to protect the kids yeah they can easily input a, a like infrastructure where it's like a you you, you a lobby <laughs> where the parents can block all this shit if they don't really if they really yeah, don't just want don't it. let them like don't buy them a check don't buy them the mic yeah or That's make it. make all stuff muted if it has apparent restrictions on there or whatever, mm -hmm. like, I mean, the Xbox and all the PlayStation have that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, pe most people just like to even just hearing other people, you know, like, but it does. I don't know what Nintendo's problem is with that. Like, I would love to just be able to talk with my friends when we're playing with, like, when we we're playing Brawl a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, we have to talk to talk. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I would love to trash talk people too, but yeah. like, I mean, that's the only reason you use the taunts was to trash talk people. Like, yeah. Yeah. To get, like, you couldn't even do anything really bad. So <laughs> it was like, get good or something like something. <laughs> it's funny. Like, I, I imagine maybe like some American person took the Nintendo president, it took Iwata to like a COD esports event. <laughs> It's like this is gaming now. This is this is a new wave, and they're just like well, he, he didn't even like the Smash Brothers. But like he's just like in horror watching, like get fucking raped. Like. Remember what was it? Uh, the Mario Kart Wii U. Uh, okay. Okay. That was it. <laughs> that yeah. was, uh, we we had to find the word. It was like okay. Yeah. Okay. That was the only yeah. word that we're like. Yeah. That's an insult. And that, <laughs> then it's only like if you say it in the exact tone that we're fucking thinking yeah. of. Be like okay. Okay. Okay, bro. Like <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't know if, they, if it's a console, it's a stab in the back to their fans. They, they have they have sold like 10 million Wii U consoles. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot because the other fucking consoles already outsold them. You know. What well, just came to my mind right now? Maybe maybe it is a handheld. I'm trying to think how many Pokemon games each handheld is allowed before you know oh, before yeah. Nintendo has to make the next. Yeah. No, oh, that's like part. <laughs> of the, That's their strategy. Yeah, because like, oh, it was. Red and blue and yellow, technically. Yeah. So that's three. And then, uh, what was it? Uh, fuck. I can't remember. Ruby and... Ru crystal. No, the gold, silver. Uh -huh. And then crystal. Ruby, sapphire. Like, they, they only had, like, one series. Yeah. The 3DS is, like, has... Oh, well, both the DS and the 3DS had two, two series yeah. in one. I think <laughs> so it's like, okay, we need the we new console. Because we were going to buy it to play yeah. Pokemon. So. <laughs> Obviously they will. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> As the reviews go down, the sales keep going up. <laughs> Fucking Pokemon. Yeah, but who knows what it's going to be. The other stuff that Nintendo announced, though, was also very interesting because they had said that they were never going to get into the portable market. They had men... I mean, I think their like, phrasing was taken out of context. You mentioned Probably, it. yeah. But they said that they weren't looking into getting into the mobile market. Yeah, but they just announced... On the contrary to that, yeah. you know, so what you're saying, it was like four or five years ago they said that way before the app market is what Catch it is clans, now. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is it? Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird, Tiny Wings, all these huge, massive apps that are games that have exploded and taken over. I'm not going to say taken over because it. No. DS still does the 3DS still does strong but yeah but it's I mean there's so much more casual numbers than there is people that like in general you know that yeah. that play just that want to play games yeah. like you can easily like someone that's never played a fucking video game in their life doesn't care about them yeah. has a fucking Android or, or iPhone and we're like oh yeah oh you play this game right here yeah Candy even Crush. if it's just fucking what is it uh, slots yeah Oh god, I don't know how people play that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, some I know some people just like the numbers or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's just stuff like that. Like, there's something for them there. Yeah. Easily. So Nintendo said that they're gonna partner with this Japanese. Yeah, and it's crazy. They're like yeah. completely like, oh, it's like it feels like or the way that they they say it, it's like they're fusing together pretty much. Like yeah. they're giving each other like assets in their company. Yeah. So with this Japanese um, app developer, gaming yeah, D E N A. Yeah. 
DNA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're, um, I mean, they're, they have a lot of licenses. Like they, I know they do. I think they've done Star Wars, Marvel. Yeah, like they have a lot of licenses and stuff. Yeah, and so part of the deal is so what, what does this mean does it mean that we're gonna get to play mario kart mario kart on the uh, on i mean the, i can already uh, do that <laughs> yeah like, you can you can use emulators and whatnot but no they said no their whole point right now that's what they're saying is that they're yeah. not gonna port over their Game, popular their, games their games their current games are not porting as far as they can as far as they know yeah. as far as like you know in the current mindset yeah. they're not gonna start porting over like super mario world 2 like yeah. just like games like that they're gonna be using their ips yeah to make original games that are probably already on the market you know like, yeah it's probably just like a clash of clans with mario yeah mushroom kingdom that'd be awesome yeah yeah would. i remember where it said where it, like dude like if man because you know how clash of clans you get like your heroes you get your barb king and you get the Archer Queen or whatever. I was like, what if you get Link and Zelda? You know, like, I'll be fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. You know? And I, I would love Sadness. that. It's like, well, Clash of Clans, we had a good we had a good, good run. run. <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom, here I come. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would play it. You know, and then there's, they could do that with, uh, like I said, they could do like fucking uh, Angry Birds, but be like Angry Koopas or whatever. <laughs> and just have the turtle shells. Yeah, you know, like I don't know, like you could just do so much shit with it. I don't know if that's what they're planning to do, yeah. but if it were that me, that was the easy way. That's a very like that's that's like a guaranteed money right there. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that's easy money. It's true, but I imagine Nintendo being Nintendo, they're also gonna make original games and make and they're so good at making like portable games. You know, they're fucking. That's what they do. Pokemon. So. Pokemon, see the, Pokemon on like some kind of Pokemon game. <laughs> yeah, why not, dude? I mean, that'd be or well, um, I mean, I don't know. If, I mean, if it's Nintendo, does Pokemon all automatically come along with it, or is it still I mean, Pokemon? Like, do they still own that? You nah, know they, they own the Nintendo owns okay. Pokemon. Like, so, <laughs> or else we would have seen it on PlayStation. Yeah, like, no, yeah, they own Pokemon. Like, they spent all their money, like over fifty percent of their company is invested yeah. in. Pokemon stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure. Just licenses alone. Yeah. And do you remember that fucking... What was the name of those stupid little Nintendo things where people would fucking take care of their dog and they would have to feed it? Oh, God. I think it's called Nintendogs. Nin oh, God. I don't know if that's what it is. I want to say you're correct. I... It used to be like... It wasn't like... A, it was like a Tamagotchi. It was like you bought the thing separate. It wasn't like on the... It wasn't on the DS. Mm. Oh, okay. No, no, it was like you bought... I didn't, I didn't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, no, it was like... You... I know there was a game, Dogs. Okay, so that's not what it is then. I forgot what it was called, but it was... And it might not even have been Nintendo. I'm sure Nintendos might have been the same thing, where it's like you take care of your pet, you feed them, you walk them or whatever. You frisbee with them. Yeah, like you do all this stupid shit, like if you're raising your real pet while your real dog's dying of fucking thirst Some next people to don't you. have dogs, Mike. Some okay. people are allergic. <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Point is like... They could do that with Pokemon, like play with your Pikachu. Yeah, and, and <laughs> I mean, even the what was it? Uh, the, the, the fuck, X and Y had yeah. a thing where you can pet your Pokemon. Like there's a 3D model. Yeah. So they definitely like that's there already. See, like, and I can I can see that being a perfect. I I think that's how they'll use it more is to make like attachment apps Dude, what to their a games. There you go. Like you can take a picture of something <laughs> and it has a Pokemon in it. I'm sure they'll fucking do like Amiibos, I, where like you can fucking you can put it on the phone like with some sort of sensor that the phone will get, or you yeah, can take sure. a picture of your Amiibo, and then it'll yeah. become your fucking Pokemon. You know, I, I can see it. That's that's what they do. They attach everything to all these little extra shit. That's what I can see. And I'm telling you, it'll be a perfect perfect attachment app to your game, like with Pokemon. Like let's say you capture fucking. Uh, uh, whatever <laughs> generation one, <laughs> yeah, <Squirtle. laughs> yeah, like you, you can't, you know. yeah, like you know, Charmander, <laughs> yeah, you capture You're... a wild Charmander somewhere, which you can't just, and, and then like <laughs> if you spend extra time on your phone just doing little shit like raising it, then when it when you go back to your to your game, he'll be stronger or he'll learn a new fucking ability right. because you spent time. <laughs> like he's just fucking like are you, so many possibilities I'm surprised like, there isn't a like like something like a Pokedex like just handheld like something like a Pokedex already out yeah you know what I mean because there's some cheap ones but like I want a 
good one. Like dude. a real good Pokédex. Yeah. Especially now, because I know when I play Pokemon, which is only, like you said, Generation 1, there was only like 150, one. 51, whatever, Pokemon. Now there's like 10 million, so I'm yeah. sure... Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people... the Digimon numbers. Like, like, Digimon had like an insane amount. Now Pokemon's catching up. Yeah? How much is... You don't know? Like I a thousand? The, like, there's so many different ones. Yeah. I'm sure, it, dude, like if they had a real digital Pokedex that had all the information maybe videos stored into it or something like that i'm sure dude like hey that's all i want they just i don't i guess that i guess they don't want to the make money out. i've been wanting that since the first pokemon game i played yeah you're a fucking nerd like, you're really? a nerd with glasses bro <laughs> like, like, that's <laughs> you know i'm not i'm not gonna lie if i was in seventh grade i would have bought a pokedex for sure i would buy it now like <laughs> i know you would i wouldn't i mean not to use it all the time i wouldn't I would, I would take. You would view. never be outside of your Pokédex. Like. I would never leave the house without it. Like. I, that's such a like. I, I want a good one, like not like the ones I've seen. Like there's one that's literally just like lights. Like yeah. it just lights up. I'm like, come on, really? <laughs> We're talking about Pokédex. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So I don't know what the. Um, what the mar? What they're gonna like start making? Because yeah. hopefully it's like. I'm, I'm guessing attachment apps would be awesome would be probably where they're going most attachment apps suck mm -hmm. like they've been getting better recently like the destiny app is pretty good yeah you they're can like, uh, i don't know if you knew they i think they had it before but they just took it out for whatever reason but you can actually go to the destiny app click your character and put stuff in storage and take stuff out of storage there, onto your character that's fucking great and i remember call of duty's attachment app you get a you could set up your class on your app. That's awesome. So that when you got back to the game, the class was already set up. For you know? Advanced Warfare? Or for um, I forgot. I think it was like Black Ops 2. I, I haven't fucked with it recently, but I remember that was one of the features. I was like, oh, that's cool. I never really, I never did it. Yeah. But I remember it seems like, oh, that's for somebody who's super into it, especially because at that time, too, they would let you look at like the top ranked players and you can look at their classes. Wow. So then you'd be like, oh, they're trying. They have this so and so class. So I want to like, be the best. <laughs> yeah, like I, let me try that class. Maybe that show will work for me. You know. So I don't know. We'll see what they do with it. Um. So last week we talked about Mortal Kombat X and the Cage Family. And the Cage Family, and we talked about Jason and the Combat Pack and Jason Voorhees in the Combat Pack. They only had announced Jason Voorhees, but this week they announced the rest of the yeah, characters, which was awesome like it's a small trailer they had just then they, they showed us jason just walking up and they just did a very similar thing but they also introduced a character i just didn't even imagine myself seeing yeah which was predator predator and it fits so perfectly in mortal kombat you're just like and i remember we talked about it, i was like who else could they bring in i don't know and you're just like predator yes <laughs> <laughs> that's right he looked and i just love the way they they did that little it was like what 30 seconds yeah. And they had Jason in the... And it was smart that they showed Jason first because you already seen him. Yeah. You're like, oh, is this the same trailer? Or yeah, something? exactly. Like <laughs> and then they show Tanya, who... She looks like freaking B Orchid from Killer Instinct. Yeah, like, yeah. Straight copy. Yeah. Me. And then Tremor, who looks like a beast. Yeah. He looks kind of like Jax, honestly. But just the fact that he's like a ninja, you know, it just makes... Like a ninja Jax. Yeah, ninja anything is yeah. cool. No matter, Like, I think that's like they're going to un unwritten rule everywhere. Like, ninja anything is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he looks <laughs> like a fucking... Yeah, he... And, in, and of course, he's called Tremor because he, like, creates earthquakes. Yeah, he's uh, he's earth. Yeah. Um, And then they... Sh and then they, like... That that noise that for the... Yeah. <laughs> it was so sick. I love yeah. it. He's like... <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! Like, it was they're all they're all standing in this dark room. Yeah, like Jason, and there's just Tanya. A, yeah, and there's this random like spot that's like, who, why, why isn't no one coming out? Yeah, there's nobody in the middle, and then you see the little disorientation, the little displacement, and you're like, wait, what's happening? Like the graphics are like fucking up or something, and it's just like, no, bro, it's not fucking up. <laughs> yeah, and he looks <laughs> sick. Yeah, he they, looks I, they went with like the jungle one, right? Like yeah, just who, straight. Who fucking... I think, I think that was a perfect choice. Dude, he looks sick, and he fits perfectly in the MK world. And then it also made me think, like, which, off topic a little bit, but the other person that could be there is fucking Michael Myers. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's, I think Mortal Kombat, 
it's just gonna become like a month like who's the best monster like you know yeah, like, like, like <laughs> kind of like how smash brothers like, yeah it's, it's gonna be the smash like where like these characters that aren't in the same universe are just gonna be like yeah what would it be if fucking michael myers fought jason yeah let's see <laughs> Frankenstein in there, Dracula. Like. <laughs> just well, I mean, I doesn't like Warner Brothers own all that shit. Like. They probably do, dude. They could bring that shit in, and it's funny too because it's like you said, Smash Brothers. They bring, the ones they bring in make sense. You're like Pac Man. You're like yeah, Pac Man. You're like Duck Sonic. Hunt? Yeah, Sonic. Yeah. Duck Hunt? I was like, what? Yeah. Mega Man. Yeah, I was like, okay, that makes perfect sense. And for this one, it immediately it wasn't like, why did they pick? You know, no, I. I can't imagine anybody being like, why the fuck would they pick Predator? Choose, like, I don't think they would, like, choose a character that wouldn't fit. Like, and any, th- any character you can think of will kind of fit. You know? In Mortal Kombat? In Mortal Kombat. What do you mean? Well, like, like, I mean, you can't put fucking no, no, Mega Man yeah, in there. Yeah, no, that's true. But, like, like, I think there's just, like, there's, like, it's such a set mindset that, like, you will only choose the characters that are meant for that game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, I wonder, like, if they could put, uh... Like the Matrix, like if they put Neo in there. <laughs> That's he, Warner Brothers. I'm just thinking. Does, doesn't he just win the game? He does. He, he <laughs> What's the, the point of playing? <laughs> Here we go with your fucking rules again. <laughs> Batman uh, can kill people, bro. <laughs> like what else? Uh, shit. Yeah, there would be so many things I just want to see, see in there. Predator is cool too because he always see like the robots, the robot ninjas. Like Sector and Cyrax, mm. like they and, and the robot they smoke. Like the dreads. Yeah, like they always seem like I'm pretty sure they copied it off of Predator. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, I you know I don't see why not. because he's not gonna be in the story since he's a DLC character. I'm assuming. Or no, I guess I mean it's the combat pack, so no, I guess not. Maybe I mean he'll probably have his own ending. Like arcade. Ending, yeah, his stuff. own arcade ending, but yeah, he probably won't I be in the really main story. Is, uh... Or he could be in the main story, just not as a playable character. Yeah, but so... I just want to see how that works. Like, yeah, I want to uh... see how they introduce like Jason and fucking Predator. If anything, if if I were them, I would put him in the main story as a non-playable character. So you'll be like, oh fuck, <laughs> like I want to, you know, like you. So you want to fucking buy the goddamn like you, he just comes out of a match. Bloody. Mark my words, they're gonna be in the main story because that way people are gonna want to fucking buy this. Yeah, shit. it's like twenty bucks, I think. Yeah, dude, no, no, five no bucks doubt, each? no. They're fucking, they're in the story for sure. Okay, <laughs> we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. You don't, believe, you don't believe me? I don't know. You don't fucking believe me? These characters are still in development. Like, like, yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna move on to another character that was. In, in Mortal Kombat, I think nine. Yeah, he was in the PlayStation version. Of yeah, yeah. Of, of Kratos. Kratos. Will we see him coming back? I don't know, but he is coming back in the remastered collection. Yeah. No, no, no not the collection. That was so disappointing. It's not a collection. Why not the collection? This has gone too far already. We've talked about so many HD remasters. I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> well, I'm not saying we're not gonna buy it. Yeah, I'm a sucker, but. Especially if, dude, if you watch the trailer, that's the worst part of it because the trailer is like, you killed Gaia. It's like seven. It, no, it literally says like uh, seven historical titles, like ten years in the making. So it's like it's hyping it up, like, oh shit, are we gonna get the whole all seven games in one? And then it's just like Kingdom Hearts did it. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's true. And then I mean, the only one they're missing is the one that had recently come out. Yeah, I think there might be. Yeah, a- Dream Drop Distance. Yeah, um, so it was like okay, I was like oh shit, they're gonna do the God of War collection. Then you get to the end, and it's just like God of War Three Remastered. It's like oh, God of War Three. <laughs> I liked it, which was amazing. But what the fuck, dude? Like for a full price game, or I don't know, they're probably making maybe hopefully they make it like forty bucks. But still, dude, come on! Like, the, at the very least, they could have done a main trilogy collection or something like that. Okay, I understand you don't want to do the PSP ones, yeah. but come on. I think Devil May Cry is actually doing like the original Devil May Cry is doing a similar thing, where they're only releasing one of the games for next gen. I forgot which one it was. Oh God! Yeah, this so is it's it. like, <laughs> yeah, I, especially after getting the Master Chief collection, even though there was a lot of bugs with it. It was still sick, dude. Like it was sick what they fucking did. Mm-hmm. Like, well, 
Would you have been fine if it was just like one instead of just three? With Master Chief? No, for uh, for God of War. If I would have, yeah, I would have been happier with one because it's older. It's older, so like I really because God of War three, in all honesty, looks still looks like a next gen title. Like if you play it now, that shit mm-hmm. looks amazing. Yeah, they they didn't they're porting it. Like, yeah, like, honestly, like yeah, like they don't have to do much to it. I'm sure they put new textures. They're gonna up the, the they're gonna upscale it. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be you know native 1080p and and 60 frames per second. Fine, but like it just. God of War 3 looked amazing. God of War 1 still looks pretty good because they ported that over to the mm-hmm. PS3 and they, it looked better. It looked better, bit. but God of War 3 was... Yeah, it, it just so doesn't even fucking compare. So, like, yeah, I would have been way happier if they did one and maybe added, like, a port of of Chain of Olympus. I forgot which yeah, one. Was, yeah, like... I forgot the other one, too. Yeah, but I just remember Chain of Olympus. Ghost of Sparta? May, I think I think Chains of Olympus was first and Ghost of Sparta okay. was second. I think, but like the one that comes right before it, you know, um, or I guess it's, I, or or a, well, the last one, Ascension, that came out, which is like the first, is like the pre prequel. About that one, so like, but that one came out really recently. That one they could have literally just port just port over, fucking three and right. see they should have done the same shit that that Halo did. Just port port those two over. And give you a real, really remastered one. And oh, okay. like two, like really like Halo Two is really remastered, and everything else was ported. Everything else was just ported over and buffed up by the by the frames and the and the resolution. Mm-hmm. That's what they should have done with this shit. But I guess they would have had to do part two as well. I don't, I don't know if they would have to, but they probably would. <laughs> and it's so much easier than Halo because there's no multiplayer. You right, <laughs> and they're not combining like the entire library of maps. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of like just port these fucking games over, man. Like, come on. But like I said, I'm still gonna buy it. Everybody's gonna buy it. But from the comments that were I saw on the on Gamespot and on IGN and the comments I saw in the comments of the video, like people weren't happy. People were like, "What the fuck? This is not necessary." But hopefully, this will kind of be like maybe. Well, I guess I hope they're not using this as a gauge, but I, I hope for us it's a gauge that maybe they're working on, like, because they are working on something. So maybe they'll, like, they'll be able to, like, announce something similar to, like, how Type Zero was an announcement. Well, Type Zero you got for 15. Yeah. That's what you got it for. To and play the demo of yeah. 15, which is what people wanted. Yes. So that'd be kind of cool if they had something like that. I mean, I know they're going to announce a new God of War in E3. I know they will. And Gear, Gears of War and God of War, <laughs> for sure. Like they're gonna announce them. But speaking of Type Zero, and getting it for 15, we got Type Zero for We're 15. 15. <laughs> We're playing Type Zero. Yeah, which is okay. It's it's a good game, but the the, the story is so convoluted. Like it's fucking insane. It, the, I, the overarching story seems amazing. Yeah. But you're in high school. Just, just imagine that. Like, <laughs> you're in a typical high school. Yeah. With, with all these people talking about shit that you don't care or know anything about. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just a bunch of people saying yeah. shit. But anyways, type... Uh, type. Final Fantasy 15. We played the demo. It was... What'd you think of it? I liked it. It was a... Uh, the combat was... At first, like I said, it was sluggish. But after a while of playing it, I was like, dude, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, Javi went from, I don't really like this game too much, to... Like I said, like, it's okay. It's okay to, like, this is the greatest game ever fucking made. <laughs> I will never ever be able to recover from playing this game. And I have to, I have to play other games? No, fuck no. <laughs> um, Alright, so tell me, com- combat system. What's it most like? Do you enjoy it? It's kind of a hack and slash. It's kind of like... Um, a lot of people I've heard comparing it to um, what was it, Crisis Core? Yeah. Which I can kind of see. Um, one of the things I do not like is that there isn't. You a, don't. You don't do, not like. Do do not. Yeah, I don't like donuts. I do not like either. <laughs> okay. Um, one of the things I d- don't like is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> say it again. What? One of the things I don't like is uh, the the way to dodge. Uh-huh. There isn't like your dodge. Like you can preemptively dodge. Yeah. You kind of have to hold the button down. And the, your character will dodge when they hit, so you can just hold that button and he'll dodge forever. Yeah. But it takes away your mana, so you can't 
do it forever. But it's yeah. just it, you really have to stop attacking to be able to dodge. Yeah. You know, like in most games, you can cancel your animation yeah. to do a dodge roll or something. You can't do that, as far as I can tell. Okay. But um, well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, I do like there's like a teleporting mechanic your character has where you can teleport like two enemies and attack or teleport away to heal up, yeah. which is really good. And the weapon so far, I think there's a there there's a more advanced system, but we were it was very limited in the demo. Yeah. But you get like um, you have quick attacks that you just it's just smashing like like you know hack and slash kind of game for the regular attack button, but um, your weapons depending on your situation kind of switch. Like if your enemy is near death, you'll do or like close enough to death, he'll do like a critical hit. Sometimes, yeah. like and so it's it's really cool. But the best thing about it that's kind of like a uh, Shadow of Mordor. In a okay, way. I haven't played that. Yeah, it has a it had, that's similar to that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess maybe it's comparable to that. Yeah. But by far the best thing about the game was just the look of the game. Yeah, it was impressively beautiful. Like the open world looked. Like if you're watching a cutscene at all times. <laughs> Remember the boss battle? Yeah. Like the whole boss battle looks like a cutscene, even though I'm, I su I sucked against the boss because he, he's like unbeatable. Or whatever. <laughs> but like, he was kicking my ass. But he yeah. it looked like it was like it didn't change like from the cutscene to the gameplay. It didn't seem like yeah. anything changed and it just as good. Because the the dude the boss is humongous. Like he's the size of the screen. And everything, no frame drops. Like the screen is moving; he's moving smoothly, and it was impressive. It did look sluggish. I can say it's still the demo, so I don't know if it's gonna be sluggish. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it felt a little sluggish. It looked sluggish. Yeah, like to the me. thing I, I'm not liking about the gameplay right now is it doesn't feel like if I get cornered. Besides teleporting, I don't see a way out. Yeah. And teleporting, like I said, you waste your magic, and if you waste your magic, you kind of like stop. Yeah. You, you get stunned a little bit, so it's just like sometimes when like I'm cornered, I'm like I can't move. Like yeah. I would just like a dodge roll to like, or maybe even a, like a boost. But because you're holding the the dodge button, which is different from other games, when you're holding it, you're slower. Yeah. So you can, so he can do your character will dodge. So I don't like that too much. Yeah, maybe you just need to get used yeah, to exactly. it. Or, like I know. said, like, once I got used to it, it was like, okay, this yeah. is still amazing. And it's like one of those things where they input it because they want to make that part of it difficult, you know, <laughs> which makes sense as their design mm -hmm. choice. Um, Story-wise, there's nothing there yet. Yeah, it was kind of like just these friends needed money, so they they killed the bounty. Yeah, got money, fixed their car. Their car was broken, Fix your car, done. Then. Though I will say the getting to the boss was really cool. Because uh -huh. like you had to like hunt it down and you had to like sneak up behind it, like following it was really cool. That's the coolest special I've ever fucking seen too. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, you get a, a power in the game. It's just like, oh shit. Uh, my <laughs> like, bad, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you, can, you can summon that? Like, <laughs> why that, that why does anybody fuck with you? Like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to put that up. We'll be like, "What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's a power like." And you get, I hope you get it right away. Like, yeah, <laughs> like uh, the downfall to using it, I believe, is you don't get any experience. Uh, but you kill the fucking boss. Yeah. <laughs> like, I you kill surprised. all life within a fucking. <laughs> Except your friends, they're good. Yeah, but no. I, think, I think they get teleported with you. You just don't see them. Cause, uh, okay, cause... because all life within one mile radius is extinguished. So something else I will say that I don't know if I've ever seen before. Uh, when the summon does happen, uh, you you get this like bird's eye view of the whole map. Yeah. But it, the summon fixates on the area that you are, and it was just very detailed and looked amazing. Just I don't know if you saw that, uh -huh. but it just looked really good. Everything looked good about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so really quick game roundup. On top of that, that came out. That was last week, but we didn't really get to play it till the end of the week. This week, what's coming out? We got Borderlands Handsome Jack Collection, which you're gonna get and you're excited for. Mm -hmm. um, Life is Strange episode. Life is Strange Jones. episode which you're two, gonna which I'm gonna play. I played episode one, and it was okay. Uh, it had some cool things about it, but it was kind of boring in some parts too. It's gonna get more excited. It's the first episode. Yeah, yeah. I, it definitely. Uh, the one thing I did love was the music. The music mm -hmm. was amazing. It was completely like indie, unique. Um, okay. I haven't seen it in any other game. Um, and of course... The most anticipated... Most anticipated game of the month, if I would like say. Just getting your like heart 
ripped out your chest. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yes. So Bloodborne, which is from software, which is from from software. <laughs> yes. Because the company is called That's From an Software. Amazing name. Yeah. <laughs> from, <laughs> from Software. From From, from Software. <laughs> yes. From From Software. Um, they made Dark Souls. Demon Dark Souls, Souls, Demon Souls, Dark, Dark Souls, Souls, and Dark Souls Two. Yeah, and they they made a bunch of games, but that that's the games that people know them for. They made the Armored Cores. Yeah, which, there was a, what was it, the Ninja? Ninja Blade, actually. Ninja yeah, Blade, that yeah. was actually the that was actually a pretty good game that came out in 360. It wasn't a huge game, but but it was it was actually fun. It was kind of like a Ninja Ninja Gaiden Gaiden. <laughs> I don't I've never, I've always pronounced it Gaiden since I was a kid. That's how I hear it. Okay, um, Ninja Gaiden. I don't care if it's called Gaiden. I think it's name, Gaiden, though. We're going to get from. All right. Tell us if it's wrong so we can yeah. correct ourselves, please. Yeah, tell us if it's Gaiden because I'm still going to pronounce it Gaiden. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden. None of my friends will know if I say it Gaiden. <laughs> yeah, like, so they're like, what are you talking about, bro? Um, it was a good game. So, this game, Bloodborne, is a lot like Dark Souls and Demon Souls, but. Apparently, it's a lot more action oriented. Yeah, it's and more. It, I think Demon Souls and Dark Souls are a lot like, def- like you protect yourself. Yeah, like don't <laughs> die. Like, and this one is don't die, but get on their ass. Yeah. Do not let up. Yeah, That's the best way to not die is to fuck them up before mm-hmm. they kill you. Whereas in Dark Souls, it's kind of like run. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's make sure. I mean, if you can't beat them, back the fuck up. Yeah. And you die a lot in Dark Souls, yeah. and it's god. really hard. I I do like the game, but oh my god, I can't get past it. <laughs> like, it's one of those games that just infuriates you. Yeah, it has, or me. It has a really big fan base. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy Masochist. too because it's a uh, <laughs> it's Demon Souls just came out like in 2011, and they've already built up a big enough fan base where they're releasing the game every two years. And this this game is pretty much Dark Souls in a different what was way. It? Someone someone said Dark Souls with uh, shotguns. Yeah, yeah, that's what they said. It was like it's a Dark Souls with shotguns, meaning just like it's just more aggressive. <laughs> it looks good. I hope it has a good story because Dark the character Souls design is really good too. Sorry. Yeah, the character was really cool, and the, the weapons look really sick too. And yeah. they said every weapon has two weapon states. Like the the main weapon is like a reaper. Sight it's so weird because it looks like a saw, like a fucking yeah. you cut a tree down, like with two people saw, you know yeah. what I mean? And then it's like, whoosh. yeah, it's like a fucking Grim Reaper, yeah. fuck your shit up. Um, so I, I think it's gonna be a great game. It's exclusive to PS4, you got some, but highly, highly anticipated. Hopefully, it's not a letdown. I don't think it will be because these guys have a track record. Yeah, I mean, if, if if it wasn't from software, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Like, I think they, I think they know. What they're doing. Yeah, even if it's just literally Dark Souls with shotguns, I think people will like it. Yeah, people will like it. Because the thing is, everybody was... I guess we've talked about many times, where we're all waiting for that next-gen game that's actually good. Um, no, there's none. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's how long we're going to have to fucking wait. Uh, this this might be the first one that really makes an impact. And that's also graf- graphically amazing. Yeah, because Infamous wasn't it. Rise wasn't it. Dead Rising wasn't it. They're all pretty good games. Yeah, Sunset Overdrive kills them. good game, but... Graphically, it could have been on 360. Yeah, and like Sunset Overdrive too is it hasn't it wasn't like universally loved yeah. either. You know, not that it has to be, but it was like it wasn't for everybody. Mm-hmm. Good game though. Um, so we're waiting. Bloodborne might be it coming out Tuesday. Let's go! <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us this week on Nerds of Classic Podcast. We'll be back next week. So sorry about my voice. I'm sick. You're not going should... to Cod Champs next. This is Cod Champs. I'm going to Cod Champs next oh, week. Shit. I got tickets. I got VIP tickets, actually. I bought them really early. You're going to go? No, I'm not. You're not paying for tickets. No, so, like, champs, let's go. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be back next week. We'll, we'll probably talk about Caught Champs a little bit. Yeah. Throw that in there, esports ish stuff. We all, I mean, we always do. Yeah, we always do. Well, what for the big ones? Yeah, when, they, when they're I really the important. I the ones you go to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, guys. Peace. Peace out.